In this video, I will be providing you with a few construction methods you can use to create this awesome corner deck detail. And no, this is not something that I thought of on my own. I saw it somewhere and thought that it really looked neat. So I am going to provide you with the information on how to build this. And of course, that will be my job. Your job will be to hit the thumbs up button and let me know or leave some comments in the comments comment area if you want to see more interesting deck details like this. So let's go ahead and get started by pulling out some of these pieces. So these pieces right here are all going to be the same and we will be using two by six that's going to measure five and a half inches exactly along with an eighth of an inch gap in between every single board. So these pieces right here should be five and a half inches square or each side should be five and a half inches. Next up, let's go ahead and pull these pieces out here. And in order to figure the length for this one here, we're just simply going to measure over the distance of two boards here. So that would be the distance from this corner here to this edge. And that won't be difficult to do for this piece and this piece, but for this piece here, you're going to wonder, how in the heck am I going to figure it out? Well, don't worry about it. It's going to be the same length as this one here. Next up, let's go ahead and pull these pieces. Now, these pieces are just just going to run along the outside edge and have a 45 degree angle on them and will die into the end of the deck on the other side or this detail if you're going to use it. Next up let's go ahead and pull these pieces out and these pieces here will be the length of three boards with a 45 degree angled miter on it. So that will be from the outside edge of this board to the outside edge of this board. Next up let's go ahead and remove these boards we can see where they are going to be the same length and the distance for this one will be four boards so we're going to come from this side here and then go all the way over to this edge here and then give it a 45 degree miter so that's this one this one this one and this one and let's go ahead and remove them and our last pieces are going to be here and to get the measurement for this one here we're simply going to go over two boards so this would be the distance from the outside edge of the first board to the outside edge of the second board. So not too difficult there. Let's go ahead and remove those get an idea of what the deck's going to look like here and then go ahead and install some joists. Now if we install some joist 16 inches on center then it won't be too difficult to see that we've got some problems here. We're not going to be supporting the edges here. Then we will be installing some blocks. Now I'm going to provide you with one example of using blocks and then in the second example of just using the joist. However you can install your blocks however you feel like it just as long as the ends of the boards are fully supported and you can see here where everything is supported at the edges now I'm not about to suggest you need to support the entire perimeter but you will need to provide enough support so that the decking doesn't move and that can be done a variety of different ways so you don't need to get hung up on my example here or even the next example I'm going to provide you with to install some type of a detail like this. So again, we can see where it's supported at the edge here and the edge over here. And in the same way, this block here is supported. So hopefully that makes sense there. And then over here, these decking boards are cantilevering out past this joist here. And then this one here is not going to be supported. So we might need to install some type of blocks to provide enough support for this board here and those cantilevering to levering out here. Now you can see here where I'm only installing one block to support this edge and there's not going to be any support in the middle because I think that's not going to be a problem. However, you might need to change yours and install blocks on every one or change it to where you have a joist. Get rid of these blocks here and then install a joist that's coming across here and then install some smaller blocks over here to support this piece. And if you didn't like that idea, maybe 
maybe you will like this one where we are going to install joist in the exact position to where they will support all of the pieces. And you can see here where everything is supported at this end, this end, and then right here. And of course the next pieces are going to be supported here. And we will simply work our way around everything until we have installed all of our pieces and created a nice safe deck. And I would imagine this method right here is not going to require that much more lumber and in my opinion will provide you with a stronger deck because sometimes blocks will squeak. And another thing I want to point out is that you could be creating some type of a water trap if there is any type of debris that builds up in the gaps. So make sure that you keep everything clean. And of course you can see here where the water is going to come out at the edge here. And of course that would be obvious for this line here. However, it might not be as obvious on the top here where we have a line coming across here and on top of the joist. So we're not really going to end up with any water being trapped here because it's going to drain out of the sides. However, that could become a problem if you get a little debris in here that won't allow the water to drain out of the edges. And if all of that makes sense, then I did my job and you now understand how to build something like this. And if I didn't, then make sure that you leave any questions in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.